Welcome back to the Hat and Hair Academy, everyone. My name is Jonathan, and not a lot of people know that I used to have uh, another YouTube site. I had a YouTube channel many, many years ago where I would post uh, very irregularly, and I only have a few videos on that site. Well, because I let it go dormant for so long, I have since changed emails and I have forgotten how to get into that site. So I was able to successfully migrate or find the original videos that I had, that I uploaded there, and I'm going to be re-uploading them here at the Hat and Hair Academy. Now what you're about to see is uh, the very first performance of an escape that I did on my 30th birthday. So that was uh, 11 years ago now called The Suicide Chair. Full disclosure, this is a very dangerous stunt. I did it on the radio. I did it live on the radio. This is uh, all real. It is all very dangerous. Please, whatever you do, don't attempt to recreate this because it is so very dangerous. As a matter of fact, uh, shortly after, uh, about a year after I did this uh, particular escape, I dismantled the prop completely because it is so incredibly dangerous. So, with that said, please enjoy the first ever showing of the suicide chair. I can't look. I'm not going to watch. I can't look John's or watch. getting strapped into the uh, chair right now. Okay. He's getting strapped in the chair, and this gun is pointed directly at his mind. He's inches away from the dang thing. Now Ross is strapping a leather strap around Jonathan Bryce's neck. Vagina. It, dude, it looks like you could be in a Marilyn Manson video. Yes, that yeah, he, up. Because he's hanging out with that guy. That's the problem. Why? All right, now there's a leather strap going around his chest. If I screw this up and you die, I want you to say it's not my fault. It's not Ross's okay. fault. It's yeah. By the way, fault, Jonathan Bryce's is 30th life. birthday today. He's got a gun pointed I at his my head. Life into my own hand. All right, uh, so he's got a leather strap down. around his legs. He's got one around his chest, one around his neck. There's handcuffs to the trigger uh, of this gun, which is, well, it, it's, it's attached to a metal pole, which is attached to the chair, if everybody gets that. All right, here, you keep filming this, Ross. I'm getting the hell out of here. What, what's, you honestly, what's gonna happen here? Because uh, this honestly has me very, I, very nervous. Yeah, this isn't a radio we're nervous. Like, I am, honest, I'm nervous. I don't think we should do this. I'm getting back as far as I can. Okay, John's putting his handcuffs on. <laughs> what, what's going on here? I, I, what, what, what's the idea of this? I mean, it, his... I don't understand. I guess I don't understand what he's supposed to do. Okay, Jonathan, tell us exactly what you're going to try and att attempt to do. I have to. Can you put that get mic that, over get there, that Ross? Mic near him, Ross. I don't, I'm scared. I'm, I'm completely locked in. Okay. I have to pick the handcuffs. The uh, the uh, revolver is now cocked and aimed at my chest, uh, and I have to. Bang! Oh, just, just don't you know, do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. That scared the piss out of me. <laughs> Um, and I have, to pick, see this. I have to pick the handcuffs without setting off the, the uh, revolver. Now what's unique about this is it's a single action, so it's not just going to go off. I have to give it some good, uh, a good, uh, well, I have to trip the trigger, and I don't want to do that. So, you know, this is, it's been a long time since we had a guest. So uh, Not to interrupt, but so you have to pick your way out of these handcuffs without shooting yourself in the face. That's correct. The chain that connects the handcuffs is in the same area as the trigger of this revolver. That's right. It's been a long time since I haven't been able to look at a guest we've had in studio, but I can't look at yeah, you I'm right now. I'm not able to look either. This room, what, were the, what were the names of those goofy guys who would make puppets out of their genitals? Or the penis oh, dudes, yeah, yeah, sure. Those disgusting morons. I couldn't look at them. This is only the second time in 10 years of radio that I cannot look at what's going on in the other studio because this has me so freaked out. We've got to take, we're taking video for John's website, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get this on our website. We've got to put this up on our 90srex.com. It's unbelievable. All right. Don't, Go ahead, Jonathan. Do Brett. not he's, kill yourself. He's fiddling, he's fiddling with this thing the whole time, and I, I look at me. I'm shaking. I can't look. I know. This, oh. I'm terrified. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! He's trying to pick the handcuffs very delicately because one sudden move and the trigger goes bang, and the gun goes off. Oh god! Oh god! Hands there's, there's one hand. One hand is free. Please be careful. Oh, I will be. I'm moving as slow as I can. Uh, Jesus. I hate this bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I'm 
gonna barf. Two hands. Okay, so your hands are free now. Be careful. Get out of there. And that, oh God, he just bumped into the microphone. Don't bump, move that <laughs> mic if it's in your way. Now he's gonna try and undo the leather straps that are around his <sighs> neck. I still don't feel comfortable. I don't either. Uh, leather Shit. strap around his chest. This is way worse All than when while, that, yes? way worse than when those guys came in and made shapes like hamburgers out of their genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I'm wishing they'd come back right now. Yep. The leather strap around his chest is gone now, and he's being very careful to uh, keep the the handcuffs, you know, are dangling now near the trigger. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gotta, still not out of the woods. Yeah, he's got to keep those away this, from the trigger because the, the 45 is cocked and pointed right into the guy's chest. This is still just sickening. I'm sweating my ass off. Oh, my God. He shaved his head so there'd be less of a mess for the... <laughs> What do you call the ambulance so no, people? Nobody Maybe will be EMTs. impaled with hair. Right. Yeah. Are you done yet? Jonathan Bryce, master escape artist. He's. I'm as nervous as a whore in church. He's got the uh, the leather strap from his chest now, just about all the way off. Again, his whole contraption is attached to a gun, which could explode his face at any second. You guys aren't even looking over here. No, no I'm not going to look. I, I am now. Now that I heard his hands are free, that's the part that really messed with me. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I hate this part. And he's just got he's... one more leather strap to deal with, which is around his legs. and But he still has the handcuff chain know, you be dangling very, very next careful. to the trigger of this damn revolver. That's not a velvet revolver. No, it's not. <laughs> That'd be a whole different bit. That's a real live Saturday night special. Yeah, that's a cold 45, man. Oh, the West was one. You will never hear John Bryce on this radio station ever again. <laughs> no, or the three of us, for crying out loud. Could you please get free? Uh, wait a minute. You know what you're, what you're supposed to do, John? The, the minute you, uh, you're doing it wrong. The minute your hands are free, you should uncock the hammer. Is what I would do. Well, he's still sitting in the yeah, in the path well, of just, it. You don't want to mess with the hammer. Get the hammer done. All right, there he is. Jonathan what, Bryce, ladies and gentlemen. Right. If that gun goes off, I'm going to ah. knock you on your ass. Oh, is he done? Is that it? Yes. All right, now I can turn Woo! and look. Uh, let's you never are, do that again. Holy <laughs> crap, that's insane. You are fired. Oh, God. <laughs> From ever. That was way too stressful, John Bryce. Well, that was the suicide chair. I did that on the 93X Half-Assed Morning Show here in Minneapolis, Minnesota on October 6th when I was 30 years old. That's my birthday, by the way. Again, please don't try this escape at all. It is very, very dangerous, and I would really, really feel bad if someone actually did get hurt doing this, which is why I don't do it anymore, because it is so incredibly dangerous. That's all the time I have. If you liked this video, be sure to like and leave a comment in the section below. If you know someone that would like to watch this video, watch some crazy stuff, share the link. Send it off to them so that they can enjoy uh, a little bit of my insanity as well. Also, if you're on uh, social media, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Hat and Hair, or you can follow me on Twitter at Hair Academy. Until next time, thanks for joining me here at the Hat and Hair Academy.